This is Florida Gulf Coast University. Welcome to Research Day 2014. Research Day highlights and celebrates research-related scholarly and creative achievements accomplished by our students, staff, and faculty. Today is the day for you to proudly present your research findings and scholarly creations. My name is Shauna Steger, and my research was the impacts on rural and indigenous communities in the Peruvian Amazon by Oriel Corporations. I went down to the Peruvian Amazon, I lived there for four months, and I traveled around to different communities, and I did interviews with people, asking them what impacts had they seen since the oil companies had been there, how their lives had basically changed. There is a lot of environmental contamination in the Amazon. Their fruits don't grow anymore because of soil contamination. They used to be able to eat their fish and their bush meat, and now they don't eat that. Women Women have more rates of miscarriages compared to the control groups, noise pollution from helicopters. It's been a really big change for the indigenous and they do bring on human rights abuses. My name is Vincent Giannoni and our project is the remote upload and connectivity of software modules for the CoralWare robot. The purpose of the project was to allow software developers like myself to upload software projects to the robot without actually physically being near it. What our work and our study and research has done is allows developers to upload new designs to the robot if one of those modules mechanisms weren't working properly. There's many applications from NASA to private industry to academics. We developed software that gave the user an interface via the web to upload these designs. The purpose of our project was to give it that scalability for those many applications. My name is Katia Consuegra and I wanted to see the effects of contamination of macroinvertebrate biodiversity in three ponds at the FCU campus. We collected macroinvertebrates every week for a period of eight weeks. Our measure of contamination was chlorophyll levels, so we simulated an artificial seagrass on the bottom of the ponds and epiphytes would grow on it. We discovered that chlorophyll is not a good indicator of biodiversity in the ponds, but we discovered that the species that we studied, water mice, subifex, worms, gastropods, and spuds, are actually an indicator of pollution in the lakes. Runoff would get into the lake, the matter would decompose and maybe this macroinvertebrates needed those nutrients to survive. My name is Kimberly Rosales. We did our project on the attachment site determination for bacteriophage Omnicron. Omnicron is a bacteriophage that was actually isolated here at FGCU, found in a soil sample. We annotated the genome. My partner and I, we got a part of the annotation that found the integrase gene. We're pretty sure this is the HTTP site for Omnicron because it was the only one that had more than one inverted repeat on either side of the common core. The way the bacteriophage integrates its DNA into the bacterial genome is through these attachment sites. The phage genome brings in new information. We could harness this process through gene therapy or genetic engineering. My name is Liam Goddard. The project was to see the effects of ambulation for an individual with a partial spinal cord injury and the effects that the Alter-G or anti-gravity treadmill has on that training. We got the individual. We did a two, eight week aggressive walking training with them on the Alter G. We did resting measures, pre and post tests, including a six minute walk test, gait analysis. His resting heart weight decreased with intensity. His peak exercise heart rate decreased. He was able to walk an extra 247 feet further than when we started the intervention, showing that his cardiorespiratory fitness had increased, but also giving evidence that his gait efficiency and how well he was able to walk really improved over the course of the study. My name is Nancy Burton, and a project that we did is the impact of feral hogs on soil microbial communities in southwest Florida. Feral hogs are a non-native species, and they cause a lot of damage in vegetation and soil. So we wanted to find out how are they disrupting the soil microbial communities. We chose three sites in southwest Florida, Web, Crew, and FGCU, and we went out and we took soil cores, and then we took them back to the lab, and we analyzed control, which is where hogs have not rooted, and then the disturbed sites are where hogs had rooted. There really isn't a difference between the hog and the non-hog, but there is site-specific differences. We have to research that further. When you see these young budding scholars and researchers and our students, that is something very special. And to the faculty members who serve as good role models and motivators and teachers of these bright young minds, thank you so much. And in five, 10, 15 years, we're gonna see these young people that you're motivating today be very productive in their respective disciplines. From the breath, 
of the disciplines and the projects that we've seen today, it is truly exemplary of true scholarship and creative activities.